I get asked the exact same questions over and over and over again about Turo and car sharing. Here are the answers to some of the most common ones that you don't have to ask it to. This is actually true. There are a lot of companies out there that are very anti-Turo and want nothing to do with it. But the good news is there are a lot of other options that you can turn to if you are a Turo host. Just make sure to do your research. This is a question that I get asked every single day. The reality is you have to list a car that has 130,000 miles or less that is 12 years old or newer. As long as you list a car whenever it meets those requirements, it gets grandfathered in once it surpasses them, assuming the car is in good condition. And this one. There's a lot of confusion about Turo trip counts and how much hosts make on Turo. And the reality is on Turo, one trip is not one day. One trip is one reservation. So a host could have a one day trip that makes them $30, or they could have a two month trip that makes them three grand. So you can't accurately predict or guess how much a host is making based off of how many trips they've had. 